Breathing in, I go back to the island within myself. There are beautiful trees within the island. There are clear streams of water. There are birds, sunshine and fresh air. Breathing out, I feel safe. I enjoy going back to my island. Not long before the Buddha, maybe three months before the Buddha died, officially we should not say the Buddha died. We should use a very complicated expression and say the Buddha went into Mahaparinirvana. But in fact, it's simpler if we say the Buddha died. And uh, so three months before that, the Buddha was teaching very carefully all his disciples, monks, nuns, laymen and laywomen, about how to take refuge in yourself. The Buddha said, this is what I am practicing. At that time, the Buddha's physical body was not in very good health. And uh, about that time also, the Buddha had thought that it's not much longer that the Buddha can continue in this physical body. So the practice the Buddha was doing was to come back to the refuge in oneself. And the Buddha wanted all his disciples to do the same. Because if they took refuge in the, some physical form outside of them, and then the Buddha's body is cremated, they will lose their place of refuge. So they need to learn to find the Buddha in themselves in order to be able to take refuge in themselves, in the Buddha in themselves. So the Buddha, when teaching that, he used an image and that image is the island, the island of oneself. You might, some of you who have known about Buddhism for a long time, might say, that is funny. Why is the Buddha talking about a self? We usually hear that the Buddha taught no self. But actually very often the Buddha used the word self. In a sutra that uh, was taught very early on by the Buddha, in the uh, what is called the Sutta Nipata, the Buddha taught the monks, he, the, he said that use yourself to protect yourself. Use yourself to protect yourself. Use self to protect yourself. In another sutra, the Buddha said, if you like, you can use the word self. But when you use the word self, you should understand that the self is made up of everything that is not the self. You should understand that the self is always changing at every moment. It is impermanent. It is like a river it's never the same from one moment to the next. The water is always different water. So when you come back to the island of yourself, you will find that it's not something solid, always the same. You will find that it is something that is changing in every instant. 